Okay, I'm going to be using these two motors. These are AC motors from an old furnace. They're used to draw the exhaust fumes out and exhaust them from the house. I'm going to be hooking these up to this amplifier and we're going to watch them on this meter with an oscilloscope and learn all about clipping and distortion. Just to show that this is actually being driven by this and the amplifier, I put a little piece of tape on the motor there playing uh, 20 hertz frequency. You see as I start to turn this volume up takes a little while here the motor will start to turn. So now what we're looking at is the oscilloscope. And the oscilloscope is basically just reading and showing a graph of the AC signal that's coming out of the amplifier. And as I turn the volume up, our motor will start to spin. And we should see a nice round wave. So all the peaks in the valleys are nice and round. So we have a good clean signal. Now you probably hear uh, the motor is changing how it sounds. So now we're starting to get into clipping or distortion. The peaks and valleys are starting to square off. And the more I turn this up, the more square they get and the worse that thing sounds. So now let's turn it back down to a reasonable volume, clean signal. Motor's nice and quiet, running smooth. Nice clean signal, turn it up. Now we hear that nasty sound and we see those nice square waves. So now we have clipping, clean signal, clipping, and I'll just go down two clicks on the volume. There's one, and there's two. Now it's nice and quiet. So even two volume clicks will be enough to get you into clipping. One or two clicks. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about what's actually happening here. So now if we turn the volume up, and we start to square this off, you're actually adding a DC signal in there temporarily. So it's being converted from an AC signal to a temporary DC signal back to AC, back to temporary DC. So in the case of the motor, it's turning, it's rotating, but it's actually temporarily stopping. And then it rotates a little bit and stops. It rotates and stops. If this was your subwoofer or your speaker, in this situation, your cone is moving up or out. It's stopping, turning into a DC signal and creating heat. Coming back down, hitting a DC signal again and creating more heat and then it just repeats the process up and down up stop down stop up stop and that's where you get a lot of extra heat that you normally wouldn't have and that's how you can fry your voice coil break your tinsel leads start your cone on fire a lot easier a lot faster than when you have that nice smooth up and down motion now to show you that this motor is physically stopping when it hits that square portion of the wave that DC portion of the wave I have these two leads hooked up to battery, DC voltage. So I'll plug this in. Now what happens when I spin it? It doesn't spin. It's actually trying to hold it in place right now. Now I'll unplug this. See how it spins freely now? And I'll spin it nice and free and plug this in. So it stops instantly. Alright, a little different angle now. See how free this spins? Can go back and forth nice and easy. I barely have to try to spin it. Now when I connect this wire stops it.
I'll show you uh, with my life savings on this. I'll go up a couple volume clicks now. Right now we have that nice smooth wave and I'll go up, I'll go up a couple volume clicks and we'll hit the square wave. Now you can see those dimes actually sliding across and moving. Now we'll go back down and do a nice smooth wave. Now the dime stop moving. So basically what you're seeing there is the rotor is tied to spinning and stopping. That's what's creating that vibration. Now with a nice smooth wave it just rotates and spins freely. Alright. So we're at about 84 degrees. Now I'll turn this up to where it's clipping and we'll see what happens. take very long for the temperature to start creeping up pretty quick and keep in mind this isn't actually on the coil this is on the, the shroud or on the coil so we're already up almost three degrees after a minute and a half and this shroud is spaced about three-eighths of an inch away from the coil This happened off camera while I was trying to get a temperature reading, but watch what happened now. See, only one is spinning. And 16. That was after about six minutes of running. Alright, so some of you guys who know a little bit about this might be saying it's because of the amp or how it was set. Uh, it's not because of the amp. Uh, the amp is actually a pretty decent amp. If you want to see me do a clamp test video of actual power with the oscilloscope uh, on this amplifier and a, on a subwoofer real world situation, uh, make a comment in the comments section and let me know you want to see that. This thing is actually pretty sweet, a little pricey. I'll put a link in the description so you can go look at it, maybe buy one. These amps are pretty awesome, nice and cheap. I uh, hope you liked it. If you liked the video, uh, click on my face to subscribe. Uh, you can click down here to see another video, or right here, or down here. All right.